Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IS. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is called Before You Dig app. This app has been launched recently by the Prime Minister and that is why we need to discuss these many topics. In addition, we are also going to talk about the Bharat 6G project in order to roll out 6G. Now, the call Before You Dig is a mobile application and it is an initiative of the Department of Telecommunication under the Ministry of Communication. The aim is to prevent damage to the underlying assets such as optical fiber cables which are very important and the, this damage occurs because of uncoordinated digging and excavation causing problems to the residents as well. That leads to losses of about rupees 3000 crore every year. The aim of the app is to save potential business loss and minimize the discomfort to the citizens which is caused due to the reduced disruption in essential services like telecom, water, gas, electricity and commute as well commuting as well. Now, if we talk about the working of the app, this app will be a contact point for excavators and asset owners. They will be notified through SMS or email notification and click to call as well when there is any planned excavation in the country while ensuring the safety of underground assets. The excavating companies will have a point of contact through this app. They can inquire about existing surface utilities, uh, subsurface utility before starting any work so that they can see where are optical fibers, where are these pipelines in order for them to understand better digging procedures. Utility owners can also find about impending work at different lo locations. Now other important projects that were launched during the launch of Call Before You Dig app was Bharat 6G vision document which uh, and uh, the Prime Minister also inaugurated the International Telecommunication Union Area Office and Innovation Center. This is the United Nations Special ITU, International Telecommunication Union, is a specialized agency for information and communication technology and it is headquartered in Geneva. It has a network field of regional and area offices as well. Now the 6G testbed was also launched to provide academic institutions, stakeholders such as industry, startups and MSMEs, among others, a platform to validate the evolving ICT's culture. The Bharat 6G vision document and 6G testbed, it will provide an enabling environment in order to do innovation, capacity building, faster technology adoption in the country. India is getting up to roll out 6G communication service by the year 2030. To the aim of this document is to identify and fund research this project and uh, identify fund research and deployment of next generation technology in the country. It will be implemented in two phases. Other than this, an Apex Council will be see overseeing the project and focusing on issues such as standardization so that not any uh, region is left behind. Identification of the spectrum of 6G usage as well so that other spectrums also do not get damaged. The first phase will go from 2023 to 2025, second will go from 2025 to 2030. In phase 1 here, Support will be provided to explorative ideas, risky pathways and proof of concept test. Ideas and concepts that show promise and potential for acceptance by the global peer community will be adequately practiced. Establishing the use of use case and benefits as well and creating international IP and test bed leading to com uh, commercialization will be a part of phase 2. Okay, So this was important to know. 6G technically doesn't exist today. It has been conceived as far as a superior technology which will provide internet speed of up to 100 times better than 5G. Terahertz communication, radio interfaces, tactile internet, artificial intelligence, all these are a part for 6G. And as opposed to 5G, uh, which at its peak can offer speed of internet up to 10 Gbps, 6G promises to go through that up to 1 Tbps. Uh, important, uh, important uh, you can say services which can, we can get through 6G include remote control factories, constantly communicating self-driving cars and smart variables taking inputs directly from human senses to make our life easier. So I hope you understood this particular segment in depth. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.